components of the plan for today. Then we're going to um, we're going to talk about um, an input inquiry equation that we actually use in the real world um, to do with interest rates and loans. Um, so we're going to watch a very short. Interest rate video, then your book design and activity plan, your um, just a quick worksheet on researching the prices of cars and um, interest rates and how long it will take you to pay off certain cars. So we're going to do some car research um, with interest rates. So a lot of people want to know like um, when is this math and when is this math? It's like sometimes it's really hard to get the answer for you. But exponents are actually um, the way all of our loans are calculated is using an exponential function. So um, the vast majority of people have at least two loans, a home loan and a car loan. And those are all, those are both exponential functions. And then um, also credit card rates. We do our credit card research projects because um, the way credit cards earn interest is also an exponential equation. So actually, exponents are just the primary equation used in the world of finance. So tax rates and interest rates are exponents. So hopefully we can connect that for you today. And then after that, we're going to look at some graphs of exponential equations. All right, so um, that's the plan. Hope it goes well. Okay, rewrite in radical form and then simplify. So, in radical form, what do we do with this little two? Hey, you guys, I see um, one, two, three people with heads on. Take them off. Put them in your backpack. Um, also, put your phones in your backpacks, not in your lap, not under your arm. <laughs> Watch your language as well. You are in class. You need to take your head off and take your head off. <laughs> All 
All right, back on track. Okay, thanks, guys. Um, all right, so we're going to bring the two down and around and rewritten in a radical form. This is the square root of nine, which is three. You guys are going to be quiet now while I'm, while I'm going through these, okay? Um, I will give you a chance to, um, to, to talk and work together during the research project, but I'm sensing some attitude here. I, I really am not, I'm not hoping for a lot of attitude. Um, if it doesn't go well, I, I mean, I know how you guys are feeling. We can just, I can turn all of this stuff into Khan Academy, like, or big ideas math and we can be silent. I'm just here to go through math with you guys, okay? It's not, it's not personal. Ask about it. Could you just not talk right now? Raise your hand and ask nicely. Just mutual respect, okay? Yes. I see six zeros, okay? So again, the directions are to rewrite in radical form and then simplify. So we bring the six down and around. And in radical form, this is the six root of 1 million. So grab that calculator. And in your CI30 calculator, you would type in 1 million first. In this form, Parentheses exponent. Do y'all think we should add those or multiply them? I'm hearing a couple people say multiply. That is correct. In this situation, you would multiply exponent. That's six times one half. Six times one half. That's the same as six divided by two. So that's x to the third. So that one would get easier to write in radical form. Okay, this is very similar. You have a six and a one half. Six and a one half. The only difference here is the 81. There's a, a coefficient of 81. Since there's parentheses, the 81 gets the one half, and so does the base of n. So when I rewrite this, it's going to be 81 to the one half n to the 6 times 1 half. So, 81 to the 1 half, if I were to focus just on that, we bring the 2 down and around, and it's the square root of 81, 9 big, and then if I focus just on the end, Six times one half is three. So the square root of eighty-one n to the third, nine n to the third. Take quite a bit of steps and thoughts on top of these to get all right with it. Realizing that the eighty-one needs the one half, and so does the base n. Are there any questions on these four by one? When you're in the room, I'm going to take you to one of those tables. And I'm going to say we're in sign on Friday. You said you need more work on Friday.
All right, the directions here <clears throat> say evaluate. That means um, work it out. The advice is to um, consider both calculators and lists. Consider lists and using a calculator. Actually, your calculator will do all of these if you know how to um, use the buttons right. I see a lot of um, faith groups. So I'm going to put the powers of five back on the board. Two to the fifth is 32. We wrote that one down. This is page 502. Did you make a list of power to five rows? Did you see square twos and four? Yeah. Did you see the five? Also? Okay, so here they are. If you want to turn to that, and that's here, like I said, it's in the base. Like this one, number 21, when I rewrite it, as a radical, the 5 goes down and around and gets put in as a unit. The 32 is a radical. And then the three is an exponent. So the fifth root is 32. I'll well, put the 32 here. So if you think it's 32, so that would be the fifth root of 32 equals 2. So now, when I put the fifth root of the three, I get a two. That exponent is three. So this two times two is four times two again is eight. That's how your calculator works. That's how the back of the book got that answer. Eight.